you want a full legendary dexterity set in new world but legendary gear is expensive and almost impossible to buy on the trading post so in this video i'll share with you some of the best places to go farm so you can get a full legendary dexterity set i'll show where you can get the best weapons armor earrings and amulets first let's take a look at weapons i'll go over all of the weapons for example bows spears rapiers hatchet and sword and musket of course so let's dive into the weapons first of course is the best in slot lazarus bow this bow will drop with dexterity keen enchanted and vicious a lot of people want headshot damage on their bow but this bow is pretty good and i'm pretty sure if you get the lazarus bow in legendary nobody's going to complain about this since it's the best in slot bow that can drop from a dungeon you can find this bow in lazarus if you want to find lazarus you can go to rig border and then you can just head over to lazarus if you like to use your abilities a little bit more then inherent truth is the next bow that you can get this bow comes with refreshing move enchanted so your light and heavy attacks will do a little bit more damage and refreshing it is not as critical hit focus so this will allow you to use your abilities a little bit more you can also find this bow in lazarus next we will be taking a look at a rapier this rapier's name is sacred wood cyber it will come with dexterity refreshing refacing move and omnidirectional evade this rapier is really good if you like a playstyle where you can spam your abilities so look out for this rapier you can find this rapier in genesis genesis is located in eden grove you just spawn at the settlement and go right up to genesis now for the muskets probably one of the best muskets that you can find in game that's a drop is infamy infamy comes with dexterity keen vicious enchanted is one of the best drops that you can get sure it doesn't have headshot damage which some people prefer over the keen since you can get more headshots with the musket but this one is pretty close to best in slot you can find this musket in Eden Grove. Just head over to Genesis once you're at Eden Grove so that you can pick up this musket. If you prefer headshot damage over Keen, maybe you want to take a look at Ancient Intentions. This musket will roll with Dexterity, Enchanted, Vorpal and Accuracy. Accuracy is probably not that important since it increases your hip firing accuracy. But if you prefer a little bit more headshot damage and you like to click heads, then this one is probably for you over infamy. But they both have their strength and weaknesses. If you want to farm this one, you can go to Lazarus. Lazarus is located in Reekwater. If you're into spears, then the next spear is pretty good. The Javelin of Dryadic Empowerment. This spear rolls with Dexterity, Keen, Keenly empowered and vicious. Probably one of the best spears out there since you can crit a lot with a spear. So if you want to from this spear, you can go to Genesis and Genesis is located in Eden Grove. If you like a spear with a little bit more life stealing and cooldown reduction, then you can go from this, this spear. The spear's name is Spear of the Outer Isles. The spear will come with constitution life stealing refreshing move and keen bolt kick you can farm this one from the last boss in lazarus lazarus is located in the water so you can just go up to the dungeon and farm it with your friends moving on to the hatchet we only really have one hatchet and this one will roll with dexterity ancient bane which isn't the best but the next two perks are pretty good for a starting hatchet if you play dexterity so it rolls with keen and vicious you can farm this hatchet in genesis so make sure you head over to eden grove and just head to genesis i also wanted to include a sword since its secondary state is also dexterity maybe you like to go with a damaged sword build some people do like to run that so it's the primordial edge 
This one rolls with 15 dexterity, keen, rogue and keen in jacket. Pretty good if you want to backstab somebody. You can farm this one in Genesis as well. Just head over to Eden Grove and head to Genesis. Now that we are done with the weapons, let's take a look at some rings. For rings that are a really best in slot ring, you probably won't need anything else if you get this ring. This ring is called the featherweight ring. This ring will roll with dexterity, hearty, keen awareness and refreshing. This ring will drop from Lazarus. It will drop from the last boss in Lazarus. You can find Lazarus in Rigwater and you can just head to Lazarus from the outpost. I wanted to include another ring. Maybe you're not lucky but you pick up this one. This ring is definitely not best in slot, not by any means. But maybe you pick it up and it's a good start just to have some dexterity on your ring and some critical hit chance. This ring is called the first spring token band and it comes with dexterity, keen awareness, siphoning which really isn't really good for you since it is mana based. So we're not going to use that for a dexterity build. But the second per perk is pretty good. It's called the refreshing board where you will reduce your cooldowns after each dodge. You can find this ring in Eden Grove and you can head to Genesis Dungeon. For the amulets, there wasn't really something best in slot. So I just had to pick something that's pretty decent that you can use while you are waiting for the perfect amulet to drop or to show up on the trading post. Unfortunately, I don't know of any amulet it's pretty good. Maybe you guys can help me out in the comments. But this amulet's name is Amulet of Seven Seasons. It comes with Dexterity, Fortify Recovery, Nature Protection and Luck. You can find this amulet in Eden Grove if you head to the Genesis Dungeon. For the earrings, I couldn't really find anything that's in a dungeon. So I had to go with something that's a little bit out of the way. But it still rolls with dexterity. Maybe you can find something better in constitution. But it has two pretty good perks on it. So this amulet is called the pedal. It can roll with 25 dexterity. Refreshing toast. Which is really good for your cooldown reduction on your potions. And then it comes with focus which is bad for us. We won't really use mana because we are a dexterity build. So scrap that perk. This is not based in slot. But then we also get healthy toast. When you drink a mana potion, you gain 9.4% of your max health. Even if you just drink a weak mana potion, you will still gain a little bit of health. So that might help you out. But the main thing that we are looking here for is refreshing toast. This is definitely not best in slot. But if you need something and you can't find something on the trading post, maybe this will help you out. You can farm this in Malevolence. It is in Eden Grove. Next, we will take a look at some armor pieces that can drop, which is really good. First, we are going to take a look at head pieces since they mainly have head pieces. So the first head piece is the seeds design. This will roll with dexterity, luck, refreshing and corrupted ward. Probably not best in slot, but it is still legendary so that you can upgrade it and run mutations. You can find this piece in Lazarus, just head to Rigwater and you can head to Lazarus Dungeon. The next head piece is actually a lot better than the previous one and is definitely best in slot. So if you get this, lock it and keep it. So make sure that you don't waste this one. This one is called the Sinful Glare. This one will roll with 25 dexterity, resilient, so really good for PvP, refreshing, good for cooldown reduction and then Invigo rated. You can find this mask in Genesis. Just head to Eden Grove and you should find the Genesis dungeon at the top. Unfortunately, there's no other pieces that drop as a set. Only these two mask or head pieces for the dexterity set. But that's basically all of it. I chose most of the gear from dungeons since you can form a lot of drops all at once and most of these pieces are not the best in slot but they are a pretty good starting pieces. If I miss anything make sure to drop a comment to help other players 
If you found this video helpful, make sure to drop a like and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.